Last month, emphasis was placed on prostate cancer awareness, and a prominent clergyman is tonight telling his story of surviving the deadly disease. He's encouraging others to get tested, as LaDawn Davis tells us. Former rector of Holy Cross Anglican Church and bishop of the Anglican Diocese of the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands, the Right Reverend Leish Boyd, was diagnosed with stage 1 prostate cancer in 2009 at 47 years old. Today, he is a nine-year prostate cancer survivor. During an exclusive interview with ZNS News at Addington House, Bishop Boyd revealed that conducting an annual physical examination saved his life. I went from my regular uh, annual physical and it was discovered that my, my, uh, my PSA was elevated. And so, you know, they treated me with antibiotics. And then after six weeks, it was still elevated. And so I had to have a biopsy of my prostate. And the biopsy revealed that I had some cancer cells there. Did you have any symptoms or anything? None whatsoever. None whatsoever. Um, Prostate cancer, as I understand it for the most part, is a very quiet and slow-growing uh, cancer. Though the prostate examinations were a bit uncomfortable, Bishop Boyd says the cancer was contained and treatments were later administered at a hospital right here at home. And I was fortunate in that the radiation could be done here in, the, in Nassau at Dr. Conville Brown's facility on Collins Avenue. So that was most wonderful because you can imagine what it would be like to have to travel and reside somewhere for a period of time just to receive treatment. So the radiation treatments were five days a week uh, for seven weeks. Mysteriously, prostate cancer is not hereditary in Bishop Boyd's family. He says his wife and family were extremely supportive during his battle and believes one's health is a gift. The bishop encouraged Bahamian men to get tested. Get your annual checkups. We know that there are certain ailments that are prevalent in our society. Um, if you're a man, you should be getting your prostate examination because of the high incidence of prostate cancer. If you are a woman, you should be having your annual pap smear, having your breast exam done. Meanwhile, Bishop Boyd also became more conscious about his health, which he says assisted him in beating prostate cancer. I decided to try to eat more healthy. So that's the one good thing that came out of this, uh, among many good things. Uh, having cancer and surgery challenged me to take better care of my body and to eat better. Um, and so I found that the changes I made during that period when I was recovering from surgery, many of those changes stayed with me. LaDawn Davis, ZNS Network News.